So, welcome to the PlugShare Android Auto Beta testing inside of a Hyundai Ionic battery electric. There it is right there. It's a Hyundai Ionic. Ooh, 209 kilometers. That's nice. And uh, right there is Android Auto. So, let's go inside and let's take a look and let's review it a little bit. So, click Android Auto right here. Okay. By default, it goes into your navigation system, um, in my case which is basically Waze, and uh, that's important because that will be your your default navigation when you use PlugShare. The PlugShare app itself is right down here. You scroll it, there it is, familiar PlugShare icon. Click on that, there we go. And one of the first things you can do is you see that you have some, some layouts right over here. If you go into settings here, you can change your car, you can select your vehicle. That's great, I like that. You have filters right here. Home chargers, in-use stations, requires fee access is restricted. Okay. I wish there would be a little bit more down here, which would be like the connectors. So, for example, I want a Tesla connector, J1772, CCS, Chatham, or whatever. And that way you can kind of filter out and grab the, 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 the ones that you really need at this moment when you're driving. Okay. So, that's one feature that I think should be added, which is the filtering by connectors. Anyway, so if you click nearby here, it's pretty cool. So it shows you the ones that are nearby. Now you got your UV initiative, savior of the world, Bristol Road, blah, 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 blah. And it goes about here. Now, the problem I have with this is I know for a fact that right around this area, right here behind the screen, is there are some other charges right there that I use on a regular basis. But, see, I can't scroll. I can't pinch, pinch in or out or remove the screen. So I can't get to these things because there's only six items that are actually displayed in the list. All right. So having only six items basically restricts my choices here. Um, you know, and that's where you use the search. But anyway, if you click there, then it tells you basically what kind of connector it is right there. It's a J1772. Location is compatible with your, you know, Hyundai Ionic, blah, blah, blah. And it gives a little bit of details on payments. It doesn't show the history whether or not, you know, this is good or even give you the score as is typical in the PlugShare app. Whether, because, you know, some plugs are like rated one by the users and at which point you're going like well i'm not even going to bother with it because it might not even be working anyway so that would be nice to have that as well if you click the navigate button here are the search results for 43.602696 minus 79.647958 see those are the gps coordinates and i that's how PlugShare works it sends the gps coordinates to your navs to your navigation application uh, it could be sagex could be uh google or in my case Waze. so if i click that right there Ways spots it and it's right over there in the parking lot, right there, right by Cure Ontario Street. I click go, calculate through. Turn right. There you go. Although that is a wrong voice because I have the Batman feature right there. There's my Batmobile and it's supposed to say, turn right, you know, like Batman. Anyway, so if I do this and I do stop, okay, there you go. And you'll notice that your last app use is PlugShare. So I click on that, I go right back to PlugShare and I go back here and I go back there and there you go. Um, the search capability is kind of weird because you can't search by, you know, by the, by the type of plug that you want, CCS, Chattamore, or whatever. You kind of got to know where exactly what you're searching for. So for example, I know that there are CCS plugs around here at the GTAA, Greater, Tor Greater Toronto Airport Authority. And I'm going to hide the keyboard. It should hide the keyboard automatically as well to give you more results. But you see right here, we got GTAA offices. Now, there's another one, and it's not showing up here, and I don't even know what it's called anymore. Basically, it's the short-term parking or something like that, or a cell phone lot. Or... Anyway, GTA offices shows me right here, and you can see that the CCS plugs are in orange, and the Type 2 plugs, basically the J1772s, are in green. So if I click there, and you'll notice that basically it says 50 kilowatt Chatham CCS SAE, blah, blah, blah. I can click navigate, and it'll go there. Um, and then you can see the level twos that are down here. Now these ones here are gray. So it's good that they're showing that as well. Um, you know, like I said, I don't even know. What if I type in cell phone? Cell lot. I think it's known as the cell lot. Uh, no, see it says Florida. You know, so, so see it's very confusing because I know there's this, there's a, there's a lot over there by the airport that has, um, CCS and Chatham connectors. But it's very difficult to try to find it unless you actually know it or you, or you have it bookmarked. But even when I click my bookmarks here, it's only showing like six of them. Right? It's showing six of my bookmarks here. And I know I have a lot more bookmarks and I have a lot more of these that are actually closer. For example, it's right, number one right here is Fallview Casino Resort. Well, 
I know that I have closer ones, including that cell phone lock bookmarked, and maybe they should, it should go by distance, not just by the order in which they are. Anyway, so there's some of them right there. Uh, the next thing, basically, is that trip. Trips are good. So, right now, if I want to go from here, from where I am, to Mississauga, to Boston, right here, I have seven stops. I have 892 kilometers to go. Now, the one problem that I have with this is this is showing, see the, the, the uh, CCS connectors right here in orange? But they're showing to, showing the distances relative to where I am. This is 107, 235, blah, 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 and it goes all the way down to Boston, Logan Airport, at 716 kilometers. It'd be nice to see the distance between them, but I guess this is what you do when you use the trip planner. So when you use the trip planner right here, you hit the navigate. Here are the search results for 42.9. It's 172 9, kilometers. 172 kilometers as the crow flies, but in real navigation terms, basically, it's calculated. Turn right. It's 158 kilometers, one hour and 38 minutes. And I want my Batman song. I want my Batman to tell me where to go. Anyway, um, that is for the trip. So the trips are pretty cool. These are the ones you all put inside your... Uh, but it doesn't look like all of them are there. I think I got more than those. Um, but anyway, those are the trips that you put inside the website. So it remembers those. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. I like that. Bookmarks, trips, and so on. So it's a really good step in the right direction. I think it's going to be very helpful. There are some improvements to make it a little bit more usable. And um, I'm going to keep on testing this thing. And I suggest that everybody goes to the PlugShare Facebook group and uh, sign up for the program. I think it's going to be worth it. Uh, help these guys out, you know. Help these guys out and maybe we'll get a really fantastic app here. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. This is really good. Something we've been waiting for a long time. Uh, keep it going. Encourage people at PlugShare. Okay. Join in the program, guys. Help them out. Thank you.